Hello out there. How's everybody doing? Today I've got a short lesson. I hope short for me probably, right? You know how long and tedious my lessons can be sometimes. Short for me, I hope. Uh, I'm just going to show you how Ian Anderson has changed the guitar arrangement of Life's a Long Song a little bit. So the intro is mainly what he's changed. It's different from how it used to be on the record. For one thing, he's dropped the uh, key down, so it used to be capoed on the 7th, now it's capoed on the 5th, so I'll let you tune up my guitar real quick. Like uh, most of his tunes, this one involves a lot of arpeggios with the right hand. And it starts off on this D shape, and we're just going to arpeggio up the first, uh, the top four strings with a downstroke, upstroke, down, alternating pa pattern. And then with a downstroke, we pluck the B string and do a hammer on pull off. Right, then we put we fret just the B string here, so we got a C chord over a D note, and we arpeggio up those four strings again, just like we did last time. So at the first, it's so when we get to the top of the arpeggio. We just give a couple of little upstroke strums and then we come down and we pick the open D string and then there and strum a whole C chord. And then we do his little trademark raked upstroke as we lift our finger, index finger off the B string. that's the strumming pattern and then it just starts over and then we're back to the D chord and those are alternately picked starting on the G string those notes And then this is the hardest part of the whole song. Is just getting that little, uh, this is the hardest part of the whole song, is doing this little A minor like arpeggio. Because it has to be a upstroke, downstroke, upstroke. To, to be able to keep your right hand moving smoothly. It has to be picked that way. And then we immediately go to this C uh, chord, but this time he's fretting the low E note with his uh, ring finger. So it's a C with a uh, fifth in the bass. Then he lifts his finger off again, off the B string. And then on the way back to the D chord, we pluck the open G string with a, a downstroke, and then we fret it here with an upstroke and strum the D chord. Now that we're doing another one of his little signature raked up strokes on this D chord. And then we, we play a down stroke on the G string to end that little thing. And then we play those notes. And then we 
come down and we play his C chord in his usual fashion by plucking the first bottom notes of it and strumming the rest. And then we come up to this A suspended chord. to an F, C, and then pluck that open D string again. So there he's just playing a D, the bottom part of a D chord. So he only plays like in between the A string and the B string here. He's not playing the high E and he's not playing the low E. That's pretty much it. That's, you know, he's changed a few things. Really focus once again on keeping the motion, keep the inertia of your right hand going through this whole thing. Have fun with that, and I'll talk to you later. Cheers. Bye.